I'm Mr. eTutor, your mystery tutor here at mysterytutor.com and welcome to video module 11-1. In this long-awaited module, we'll begin discussing the basic strategies that you need to be paying attention to when you start to get ready for the SAT subject tests. Before you start watching these videos though, I strongly caution you to go back and pay attention to the SAT1 videos, particularly the videos for the critical reading section of the SAT1 because you're going to find that the skills you used in the SAT1 critical reading are going to come in handy over and over and over again on the subject tests and it doesn't really matter which subject test you take. Each subject test ultimately comes down to uh, a test of critical reading ability, how well you read and how well you pay attention to what you read. You're probably going to find that a large number of the mistakes that you make on the test will be directly attributable to how well you read and how well you pay attention to what you have read. Uh, this is why, actually, that we start the entire um, program with the SAT1 critical reading section because the skills that work there uh, really apply to all of the SAT tests and AP tests that you'll ever take. So if you haven't already mastered the critical reading section of the SAT1, I would strongly recommend that you turn your attention there, if it's possible, uh, before you come here and try to learn the subject test strategies. Now there's one more thing we need to talk about before we get into the actual strategies for the subject tests themselves, and that is the source of the practice materials that I recommend you use. If you've been watching my SAT1 videos, you've probably seen me recommend this book uh, easily 70 trillion times. I say it probably every five minutes that you have to use this book if you want to get better at the SAT1. Um, I am very happy to tell you that I can stop recommending this book, and now, instead, I can recommend this book which uh, looks almost exactly the same, is a little bit lighter, so it's nice for me to pick up, and most importantly has this big purple stripe on it, which will readily distinguish it from your other SAT book. This one is also by the College Board, and it is the official subject test study guide from them. This contains uh, one example of each of the types of subject tests that there are. So, of course, you're going to want to make sure that you use it for that reason. Uh, it's the same reason that we had to use only real questions when we got ready for the SAT1 test. Uh, basically, since the College Board writes the subject tests, you should make sure the College Board writes what you practice for the subject tests with. Um, this also means, unfortunately, you get to spend another 20 bucks with the good folks at the College Board. But if you don't want to do that, you can use the link and go to Amazon.com and buy it, uh, usually at a much cheaper rate. Although it will be used and may have someone else's thoughts scribbled in it for you. So, make sure that you have a copy of this book if you want to do your best. So, that takes care of that. Now, it's also very important that you remember that the guessing strategies and things like that that we talked about for the SAT1 will still apply on the subject tests. So, make sure that you don't guess. And uh, if you need to go back and review how the individual sections are scored from the SAT1, feel free to do that because the same scoring methodology will be applied to the subject tests themselves. Now there is one more thing that's really important and it's something you need to pay very, very close attention to, so listen carefully. It is absolutely impossible for the College Board or anyone else to design a multiple choice test that can directly measure what you actually know about a subject. The only thing multiple choice can ever accomplish is a test of how well you can separate the right thing from the wrong things. So as we get ready to take the subject tests, remember, our goal is not necessarily going to be actually knowing all of the things that the questions seem to be about. Our goal is going to be developing the skill that will let us separate what is wrong from what is right. That's the skill you need if you want to be a successful SAT subject test taker. And if that is what you want, you're in luck, because that's the skill I'm good at teaching people. So, thanks very much for watching, enjoy the following videos, and remember, if you do it the right way, it's easier than you think.